Just quickly, tensions rising, of course, between China and Australia, despite the ambassadors attempted a positive attitude today at the press club. A war of words over Beijing and their influence has increased. But in the continuing post-mortem of the coalition's election defeat, some senior Liberals are urging Dutton to take a more nuanced approach to China. Uh, I worry that the power brokers have got this all wrong. Well, yes and no, Chris. Uh, you talk to candidates on the ground, you talk to campaigners, it was something real. There was a feeling that Morrison was tarring all Australians of Chinese ancestry with the same brush. But you have a problem, which is the coalition, like Labor, have supported a very strong, very large immigration program. That now has political consequences for the Liberals because there's nothing that Morrison said, there's nothing that Dutton is saying now that is not in Australia's interest. So you have a real political problem and you have a national security problem, which is if we can't have our leaders, whether they're Penny Wong or Peter Dutton or the Prime Minister, talking in a straightforward, honest manner to Australians for fear of putting offside a important segment of the community, we have a very big problem and Australians need to think about this and politicians need to talk to the public about it because it is a real challenge and it did cost the coalition votes because Pete, Scott Morrison stood up to China and the Liberals and the Labor Party for that matter are going to have to very seriously consider this.